This is a production of Cornell University. Long Island Horticultural Research and Extension Center is a 68-acre Cornell University facility on the eastern end of the island. The mission of our research center is to help our agricultural community out here in Suffolk County succeed. The main focus is applied research and education and I think that is something that really the growers can't get elsewhere. We focus on Long Island soils and microclimates and being you know in this maritime climate we are pretty unique compared to the rest of the state and that that's important to have that research and education that is directly applicable to our area. We are an extension of Cornell University. We are providing you with the information that's done at Cornell University and also the very applicable research that's done here at the research lab and we're extending that out into the community. I think it's important to have this resource for growers and landscape professionals for a number of reasons. Probably the most important is that there are day-to-day -day problems and issues that need to be solved that uh, can put them out of business. If a grower is not sustainable, they're not going to stay in production. So sustainable in how they're growing things, sustainable in their business, um, all very important. So I'm looking at managing plant diseases in the best possible way, the most effective way, so they're going to have uh, minimal costs going into control because they're using the best possible practices. Implementing sustainable practices, all farmers want to increase the sustainability of their operation. All farmers are looking to improve soil health and have a better crop at the end of the day. Farms are businesses and sustainability and longevity is extremely important. We've changed over time from a philosophy of using a chemical to stop a problem to using more of a strategy to stop a problem. We have a program with orchards where we've introduced uh, mating disruption, for example, so that can substitute for the use of pesticides. It also can give you better control uh, than you would have with, with insecticides. So that's widely uh, been adopted here. It's very successful. It works quite well. Inside this tube, there is a, the same chemicals what a female insects actually release. This uh, pheromone mating disruption technology is a non-insecticidal uh, control method and it is organically com compatible. So this is uh, good for environment, so you don't have to use any insecticides when uh, you are using the insect mating disruption ties. It's important to me that growers understand when it's too late to make a pesticide application or when it's important to do something at a certain time in relation to the crop production cycle because then they're not wasting chemicals that could otherwise just not be put into the environment. Uh, if they're doing the right thing at the right time, then they achieve their objective and they're not polluting. Soil health is, is critical. Soil is a living system and how we manage it has a direct impact, not just on farms and the, and the crops being grown, but environmentally downstream. And with the Agriculture Stewardship Program, we're focusing on protecting our ground and surface waters here on Long Island. We're trying to maintain the aquifer, which is the sole source of our drinking water, as pure as it can be. We need to figure out a way to manage the weeds even without some of the tools that other people have. When not only you see your research and are able to show growers the research is successful, but they adopt it that's when you know you've, you've really made a difference. Having a place where we have specialists from entomologists to plant pathologists to soil scientists and floriculturalists is so critical. Agriculture is, is a system and we all need to collaborate and work together to be the best resource for our farmers.
This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.